All right, y'all, I'm out here with a test run. Nothing super spectacular just yet with this. Um, you guys know in my live video, I did rip the uh, stock tires on here uh, the other day. So I had to replace them. So I did put the Arma uh, Qatar um, tires and wheels from the Creighton EXB on there. And I think it actually gives it a nice little look too. And I did put 250K in the center diff. Uh, in my video, I did do a kind of an RC short where there was no oil in the center diff at all. So my next thing I'm going to do is I will be get this over here. I need to put some lights on here. Um, I will be changing this servo out too. But I wanted to see how these tires are going to hold up. These tires are actually they actually for me they are my go-to buggy or uh, truggies bashing tires. I put this on my Team Corrali trucks, and I put it on here, and so far, they're handling good. And I know they'll do good off-road, too, so I need to get another set. But anyway. Truck does not have sway bars. And I think for the price, you should have got sway bars, and you should have got the Bluetooth module. If I have any complaints, that would be my only griping complaint about this truck for the price point. I still have yet to kind of bash it, but I've driven it off-road. And so far, it's handled good off-road. I think it just, for me, needs a faster servo, which I'll put one in there probably tonight. And I need to check the front and rear differentials to make sure there's oil in there. But <laughs> so I was not trying to do that. He just uh, picked up some speed there, and um, there goes my body. <laughs> trying to keep my body all uh, looking good. So getting plenty of grip, of course, with these tires and wheels. That's why I like them. They're not too hard where you don't get grip with them and they're not too soft where they balloon a lot. So, so I say if you are looking for a tire, because I know you guys are going to ask me, I recommend these from the Creighton. I really do. I recommend them for just about any truggy you're driving, especially some of the ones that will come with the best tires in the world. Here we go, trying to willy up. I can't wait till I put some uh, sway bars. I think I can use the standard tracks of sway bars on here to see how it's going to improve handling. I did add, I want to hit that pole. I did add the Bluetooth module. I just took it out of my slash, actually. <laughs> I wasn't going to buy a new one. You guys see the truck handles good. It just, for me, needs a stronger servo. Check them oils and I think we'll be good for the way I run cars. I still have yet to check up on the, uh, some minor wear and tear, but I really gotta get this thing out and run it, which is kind of what I'm trying to run in these different areas. And I was also kind of fiending too, y'all. <laughs> I wanted to get him out and run. Jeez, what a difference tires make on a car. Huge difference. Man, night and day. Really, really is. Man. That's why I need that faster servo when I take this off-road and do some comparisons like to my Talon and Creighton because they do have faster servos in them. 
or aftermarket, so I should sort of say. This is a joy to drive right now. These tires made such a difference. It's making it more appealing to drive for me. Now I will say that this is one of the loudest tracks as far as I think I've ever driven. <laughs> I know it's got that metal spur gear on there, that metal gear on the uh, center diff. And I know it's needed for something like this, so they couldn't definitely go with plastic gear because that was not going to last. Man, I could do laps like this, and I'm going to <laughs> until this battery dumps. I'm running a 4,000 in here, so. Look at that, lap after lap. And see right there is where I kind of want that faster, stronger servo. I know that this servo can do 7.4 volts. I don't know if it turns the speed up or not, but the speed controller is not capable a 7.4 volts nor I don't think the receiver is so and it kind of beats the point of having something like that unless they knew you were going to upgrade it but um yeah I'm gonna run laps like this so this battery dumps what's all these trucks weren't out here because uh I would definitely be uh, set up a better track. All right, let's go the other way. While we can, while this. something real quick trying to see which is ah that's the better view trying to get the zoom in a little bit but it had been <laughs> yes yeah, so I'll definitely be changing the server out tonight unless I change the ESC which I'm not going to do I want to try to keep it as close to stock as I can which that's going to be a huge change. I had to jump that curve. <laughs> At least drive over it. Now how long of a runtime I'll get like this on this 4000, I don't know. You can see that green light through the body. <laughs> that's so funny. Um, so that's going to be a run of this. I'm actually going to run this some more. These tires are holding up pretty decent out here. Um, running it on this pavement and stuff. So I'm going to actually run this some more. Then I'm going to take them home and I'm going to clean them up a little bit more. Change the servo out. I may check the diffs tonight if I got time. If not, I'll do it in the next couple of days. Uh, if you guys want to see videos on that. Hopefully I'll have this up before you guys put your comments back. But um We'll see what happens in the next couple of days with that. I got a guy that's all the way over there in that black car who's 
over there looking and stuff. But anyway, uh, you guys put your comments down below. If you like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.